All right, well, if you're tuning in today to see Dow 20,000, you could probably blame Goldman Sachs for not hitting it today. Why? Well, they've done their fart as a, a part, I should say. That's uh, the first. What did you say? <laughs> Just kidding. It's one, of the, on, it's one of the words my on. two-year-old has learned let's very well just... for some reason, so it's in my head. Anyway, <laughs> Goldman downgrading both Coca-Cola and Procter and & Gamble. Dow components today citing dollar strength, among other issues. Should you stay away from the big consumer staple stocks? Let us ask the Trading Nation team that always just smells great. Aaron Gibbs with S&P Global, Max Wolf with 55 Capital. Um, Aaron Gibbs, I think you fundamentally disagree with this Goldman downgrade of these two stocks to sell, do you not? Yeah, I actually looked at, I, first of all, we only see on average about 35% of the revenues coming from outside the United States. And then they also mentioned that they don't see that they're going to get any benefit from lowered tax rates. But both of these companies are paying in the mid to low 20% range. So, you know, anything below 20 could help them um, when it comes to effective tax rates. So I, I disagree that I think there could be a potential benefit. And I don't see as big of a concern with the, the increasing dollar. So I do like Procter & Gamble a little better than, I mean, sorry, I do like Coke a little better than Procter Gamble just because the valuations are so low. They're trading below, below their three-year average. Um, but I, I just don't see it quite as dire as the Goldman note. Well, and before we let you go, before I get to Max, at some point we are going to get to Dow 20K, are we not, Aaron? Like at yeah. some point? Yeah, at some point, I predicted absolutely. that we will hit it at some I point. I feel comfortable in saying that, yes. It was bold. Max <laughs> Wolf, all right. Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola. Deserve the downgrade? Like one? Hate both? What do you think? Yeah, so we like the consumer staples going forward, but we do think the currencies are the sort of tip of the iceberg here at the FX. The FX looks to me like it's going to be a very big reflection of growing major volatility around the world. Basically, the United States has been the guarantor of the global financial system, and U.S. multinational enterprise has been among its biggest beneficiaries. If there's a deck of cars, you're in the top of the deck, and something comes along like a new president, a new series of policies, a new series of sentiments, and shuffles that deck, we have to be honest with ourselves. If you started out as the top card and I shuffle that deck, the chance that you fall in the deck is very, very high, approximately 51 and 52. And we don't think the markets has pri have priced that at all. And so these big global U.S. brand names are going to come in for a little bit of the global reaction to how America is seen by her neighbors and a decline of global cooperation. So they're very right to be worried. I think FX is the tip of the iceberg, but we think this 2017 will be known as the year of big volatility. No denying it. We cheated the Reaper in 2016. You don't usually get to pull that off twice. All right. Max Wolf and Aaron Gibbs, thank you both very much. For more Trading Nation, you can go to our website, tradingnation.cnbc.com. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.